and I play red. Although my husband and I both play board games, we're a board gaming couple, we don't tend to play a lot of two player games because, well, we have people we play games with. So usually we're playing four people. I think we have in our collection two games that are specifically two player games. And this week, we're gonna look at one of them. We are going to look at Trambon from Helmet Oli. The reason this ended up in our collection is, this is one of the designers of Russian Railroads, uh, one of Rob's favorite games. So we have to have it. Um, we love a good multi-use card game. Cards have not one, not two, but three possible uses in Trampon. So, let's have a look at it. So, as you can see from our draw pile and my hand, the back of the card represents a thousand marks. So, at the start of the game, depending on if you're first or second player, you'll have some money in the bank. I've set mine up so I'm the start player. I have 12,000 marks here ready to spend. You can't look at the front of the cards. That's just money. That's all you need to know. It's money. My card hands, however, look a little different. So, this side of the cards can be used as either passengers or stations. So let's pick up my hand and have a turn. The first thing you're going to do in a turn is place one or two cards as passengers here at the terminals. I don't know if I like my cards that much so I'm going to place a yellow passenger here and I'm going to place a green passenger here. Every round you must place passengers. The rest of the actions available are all optional, but this is the one thing you must do. Second thing you're then going to do is place some cards down as stations. Now, as I said, I'm not convinced about these cards. So I'm going to pop, actually let's do it that way, I'm going to pop a yellow card down as a station. I can then choose to place any of these cards into my money pile, which I think I'm going to do because they're not what I want right now. Then your next action is to purchase the train carriages. So you can see here we have multipliers of two and these are going to cost me 5,000 marks. At the moment, that's my only option. So I'm going to three, four, five, spend 5,000 of my marks to buy a train. So I'm gonna buy this one and pop it here under my station. Now, if you get to the end of your turn and you have stations out that don't have trains supporting them, you must discard them. So it's pretty pointless placing the stations unless you can play a train to support them. So fill that right back up. Now, at the end of my turn, I have no cards in hand. So I'm going to draw back up to six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And hope, oh goodness me, hope I get something a bit better. It's not looking good. Right. Okay, so on my next turn, again, I must always place passengers. I'm only going to place the one this time. I'm also going to play some stations. I'm going to play those three. Now, because these are a different colour, they have to be a different line. And also, they must be in ascending order. So that's why I put the two down there to begin with. Here I'm putting down the three, four, five. Now you can skip numbers so I could put an eight there, but they must be ascending. 
So again, I'm then going to pay five for another train, which I'm going to pop here. Now you'll see the trains are starting to change. While we can't buy this yet, we know this is coming up. So this is a multiplier of three. However, it costs 10 to buy. So I'm going to give myself one more money and I'm going to draw back up two, three. So how do you score? Important thing that we haven't covered yet. So we're going to continue placing passengers on each of these terminals. Let's use the red as an example. Let's go one red and sneaking. Right, let's say I pop, oops, these down. We have four passengers at the terminal. So you can see it actually has a nice little reminder here saying four. As soon as you hit four passengers of any of the available colours, you score. So the reds will score. At this point, I will score one, two, three times two. So for that scoring, I'd score six. And what we do is pop six in here. And of course, your opponent, if they're scoring red, they'll also score. The game actually ends when you have 10 scoring phases. So I've scored six there. We discard the four red passengers and play continues. So it was my turn. I put those down. And the really sad thing is the fact that I've got these. So I actually miss out on the scoring of them for this round, but it's okay because next time I'll score. I'm going to get rid of these cards and draw back up to six. So play continues until you've scored 10 tours as shown on your little score pad here. Now, you may notice at the bottom here, a little line saying extra tours. If, one, two, three, four, five, six, if I manage to get to eight stations on a route, I get to score it as a bonus. Now, most of the cards we've seen so far look like this. However, in the deck, there are also joker cards that look like this. Now, you'll notice they have no colour, no number, no points. But what you can do is pop them onto this row to try and bump it to the eight cards so that you can get the extra scoring. If I had the red 10, that would give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards here. And I'd score that as an extra tour. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times two would score me 24 points as an extra tour. These cards will always stay. You can always add to these routes as long as you follow the numbers. So I have a 10 here. I can't really add anything. I could add more jokers, but it's just not worth it. So let's have a look at what I've got. I haven't got very much good stuff. I'm going to play my five and six. Move that out of the way. And I'm going to play a blue three. So I then need to buy the train to run this route. So I buy that, pop that, and now our three times multiplier is available to whoever wants to buy it. However, I'm well off, I have three, three money left. So I'm way, way off being able to afford that at the moment. 
So, play continues in the same way. Scoring tours every time the terminals hit four passengers waiting. You'll go through this deck pretty quickly. You know, you've seen me discard cards for money, drawing six cards every time. And already we've got through a lot of cards with just me showing you how it plays. The minute the deck runs out, all players have to lose half the money in their stack. So while you might be saving up, you also need to bear in mind that you potentially stand to lose a lot of that money. And unsurprisingly, the trains get more and more expensive. We have a times four here that will cost you 15. So storing money is very good to wait for these big trains, but you're not necessarily gonna get there and you're going to lose out on some of the earlier scoring in the game. You need to keep an eye on what your opponent's doing. Whilst I really want to score this red because I get a lot of points, you need to make sure that your opponent's not going to score loads of points on the red. So if you suddenly see them ramping up on one colour, it's worth you investing in it because you're going to get some points. So here with the yellow at the moment, I only get six points, but... It's still six points, you know? It's better than having no scoring on a tour. As well as all the cards you've seen here, um, you also get these two little player aids that show you the turn really nicely. These cards are actually quite thick, um, which is a good job because you go through them pretty quickly. You'll usually, usually go through the deck at least once, maybe twice in a game. Tramban takes about half an hour to play. Um, I think we paid maybe about £15 for our copy. Um, our copy is Mayfair Games. I think now Lookout are producing it. Um, it's well worth a go. Um, nice, quick, I want to say easy, it's real simple, but it's not easy. You have to really think about what cards you're chucking away, what scoring opportunities you're giving your opponent. And there's actually quite a lot of thought in a little two-player game. Um, go and check it out. Um, I think it's still around, still available, maybe, hopefully. Um, so that's Trambarn by Helmer Only. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click like, subscribe, all that gubbins. Um, check me out on the other socials, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at uh, iPlayRed. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.